Okay, so first things first is I'm copying a blank uh, format, a blank ROM file of the standard Mario Bros. 3, um, opening it in SMB3 Workshop. So I'm just messing around with 1.1 for now um, because there's already a pointer in it with the secret room via the clouds. So something that's going to be important is the difference between coordinates of um, the, sorry, the decimal and the hex coordinates. Um, and that's just keeping track. So anyway, this is the room that you enter when you go down the pipe, as I'm sure you know. And all right, what I do now, and, and this is something that you should do with most everything, is mark down the coordinates. Specifically, the X tends to be more important. So, say I wanted not to have to fly all the way over there for to enter that room. So what I'm going to do is add another pipe at the very beginning, replacing the one that the piranha plant comes out of. And make sure that it does not say ignores pointers, because there is a, another type of pipe that does not care about pointers. Alright, so you can see here the X position is 22 and the Y is 17, which I'll make a quick note of. But something that is, what you can't do is just use those numbers straight up. So I have open a binary to hex, or a decimal to hex converter, and basically, um, obviously if you look into this, you'll know that a lot of computers and systems use hexadecimal, which basically means that instead of there being digits 0 through 9, there are 16 digits, which are 0 through 9, and also some letters up to F, from A to F. So, what I've done is I've changed the pointer. Right now it's quite simple. We're entering. Entering the pipe, and we come out there. It's important that when I kind of glossed over this, but Editing the pointer, I, I switched the entrance location to the new pipe we made. And of course, SMB Workshop being a little bit buggy, it seems to not really care about the exit of the bonus level right now. So. Obviously, you're like, well can change where you want the pipes to lead to, so I'll move one up, I'll, mo I'll just move the pipe, you didn't make a new one, it doesn't matter, um, and we're going to mark its coordinates. I'm just clearing out the room for neatness. This is where I start to have some, a little bit of trouble. As the video goes on, the program stops being as nice as I'd like it to be. And I think it involves me editing the room length here. I do not think that was a good idea for me to do. But anyway, just adding a couple enemies as an example. We're saving. This new pipe, well, 
No signs of tornadoes for that entrance. The exit pipe. Th these are a lot more important than the entrance. So, in this case, x is 3, y equals 0. Um, luckily, because the numbers are low, those are the same numbers in hex as in decimal. Try to save the text file there. So what we're gonna do is gonna go back to level one, or world, yeah, level one. Edit the pointer. Um, and so we'll change the exit horizontal to the X position, which is three. And again, I think I go, the vertical position was zero. Um, and I do go and just kind of note that it does take in hex. So, for example, if you wanted a uh, position of 10, you would actually need to type A. So, we'll run, run it again. So now we've changed both the entrance and the exit of this room. Entering, and we come out the top, which is what we want. Now something that I don't notice occurring, but that happens anyway, is the pipes change their color, and... Okay, I would recommend just not messing with the lengths of the levels, especially if you're going to have pointers going into the levels whose lengths you're modifying, because from my experience, things tend to break when you try to increase the level's length. I've decreased level's length fine, but increasing it is typically not a good idea. Alright, I've gone ahead and switched over to the hat that I'm actually making. And this is a modified version of 2-2. Um, and I picked this level just because I have multiple pointers in it. Um, so, it's kind of like there's two exits. So here's the normal one. Um, the normal one's on the right, which is pretty much identical to the normal exit. So this pointer, um, entrance horizontal, 7, 0 to 7, F. If we, oops, click here, x equals 125, that has a hex hexadecimal value between 70 and 70F, which is in this range. So one of the downsides, and I believe you may be able, like, we may be able to figure this out, um, is that you can't have these, even if you have two different areas, um, you can't make them go to different levels. You can only make them go to one level, but just different sections of that level. So, for here, naturally, it goes to the level 2 ending room, so I decide to use it. Um, so this is one exit. Notice coordinates are 3, 24, and back here. This pointer, you exit at x equals 3 and y equals 18 in hex. And this is something that Mario Workshop doesn't do very well. These clicking on coordinates, clicking on objects here, displays their position in standard decimal form, which is kind of stupid considering hexadecimal is like the only useful thing here. Anyway, this is the more interesting one. The one in the middle of the screen here. Editing this pointer. Which, actually I don't know if I said you edit that by hitting enter. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, this is right. So here on the edits, 
the x x position is three, but the y posi y position is only five. So what that will do is spit us up in this top left room. So that way it gives the illusion of there being multiple rooms, but in reality it's just pointers messing messing around on different areas of the same level. Um, I popped into another clean f save file of Mario 3 um, to demonstrate another aspect of this. Let's say we want, instead of being able to complete the level right here, we're going to force the player to do level 1-1 one, one and level 1-2 in a row. So, I'm going to block off the exit here. And this pipe, I'm going to change it to a downward pipe that you can go down. Again, you can make your own um, and place it wherever you like. Actually, let's go ahead and bring it back to the beginning. Um, in a slightly different spot, just to show variety. Just put it on top of this white platform. Save this. So. In the header menu, this these objects and enemies, these correspond to a specific level. In this case, uh, let me open that again, 1FCA3 and CO16, that points to here, CO16 and 1FCA3. So let's say we want to make you play level 2 now. So I'll open this up. The enemy data is C6BA and object data 20F3A. So in the header, I'm going to change this to match 20F3A. 20F3A and enemies. C6BA. Alright, and hills. C6BA. That should be good. Okay. So that modified the header itself. That didn't modify any of the pointers. But this this is why because the that data is saved per level rather than per each individual pointer, this is why now all of the pointers in one one now go to one two. So as of this point, the bonus room in one one is inaccessible. So let's modify this pointer. Actually, what I j just unwittingly showed off is another good feature. That is not fun, if you don't know. Um, moving to pointer actually changes the, da the data it has. So, as it horizontal, let's just look at this, 8 and 5. If I move it over here, oops, okay, I guess that only changed the entrance. As you can see, it's 8 and 8. The entrance is changed. Move it over here, 8 and 0, that's changed. This is changed. So, obviously, this is... Basically, once you edit a pointer, you don't want to move it. Um, so, let's save. Go to world 2. Or level 2. And let's... Let's just clone this and stick it here. Then I'll look at this, 0, y equals 16. Save, hop back to level 1. Edit this pointer. Oops, well, first, the x position of this pipe that you go down 
is 34. So converting 34 is a hexadecimal of 22. So let's hop back, edit this between 2.0 and 2.f. Now it's up there. And again, we don't want to move it now because that'll mess up that data. So the exit horizontal, however, is now at zero. Well, where Mario will appear, that is a good point. So should be a few spaces higher. Uh, vertical at y equals 16 should, should be zero f, but this is a an approximation, so for some reason I'm not entirely sure why. It says approximated by a couple of tiles. And we're going to do, we're going to exit, this is kind of just which animation to play, as a leftward pipe. And we're going to save, save the ROM, and attempt to run this thing. Now something worth pointing out <laughs> is I have never tried this before. Modifying the, well, to say I've never tried modifying the level that the pointers in any particular level um, will go to. So here's hoping that this works. Okay, so it looks like it worked. The only thing is, um, I would assume changing left pipe to right pipe would give the threat animation, and again, better approximate, better finding the edge position of this, um, because I'm. It looks like it's the direction that Mario goes. So even though this pipe is coming from the left, Mario's going right. So it should be a right pipe. Other than that, we're in level 1-2 now. So, technically what you could do is make a whole series of those walls and force the player to keep on continually moving from one level to the next and essentially make the whole game one giant level. The one problem is, if you try to go into... Let, let's see. Actually... No, I edited the pointer rather than creating a new one, which you can do, by the way. Um, let's exit this real quick. If I wanted multiple, you can either just click on the pointer and clone it, or I think all of Bank 7 is pointers, and I think they all have the same purpose. I'm not entirely sure why there are so many of them then, but anyway. It's worth noting that any attempts to go to the sublevel, for example, like this little bonus area here, will not work. If you want to ask me a question, um, go ahead and ask it in the comments or whatever, but, um, I am pretty new to this as well. I will do my best to try and further explain things, but occasionally, like, I've run into problems that I don't know how to fix, and occasionally stuff just goes weird with the software, but I will try my best. Thank you.